In this video I'm going to show you how you can open up a MSDOS file. So basically if you've saved something in um, Notepad or even WordPad, say for example I'll just enter some basic text and if I go to save this file, save as, and I enter say .com on the end of it which I've done many times, if I click save and then go to my um, documents to see this file, you can now see that this file has now been saved in something called MS dash DOS application and if you click on this program it just doesn't open up so if you save vital information such as passwords or addresses or something in WordPad or Notepad what you need to do to regain access to that file is you need to go to um, win, win, um, radlab.com which is a free program called WinRad which you can download for your um, Windows PC so I'll put the link in the description there are several versions you need to download um, in my case I'm going to download the 64-bit version so just save the file save it I've already saved it actually so we can then open up the file and we can install the program this is completely free to download and install so don't worry just click OK just follow the instructions click done so once that program is installed onto your PC we can now go back to your document page and we can try to open up the the file would just save. So what you need to do, you need to right click either on your mouse or your touchpad and then select add to archive. Click OK. So we can now see there's now two versions of the file we just saved. So what we need to do is focus on this colored one or the multicolored box here. Again we need to right click on this and then we need to click extract here. What we need now need to do is to click rename and we want to delete, say, such as the .com or the invalid character which is causing the problem. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to click OK. So now you can see here on the right hand side the file has now been saved. However, it's still not in its original note notepad format. So again, just left click on it, double click. Then from the list that comes up, you need to choose the program which it was originally created with, in my case, Notepad. So now the program is now open. I can now gain access to the original text which I typed. So if you want to save this back to Notepad, what we need to do is click File and click Save As. We can now call it something different. I'll just call it, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click Save. I can close that. And then right down the bottom here, we can now see my documents. The original file is now here. If I click on that, you can now see the original text. So that's basically how you do it. So thanks for watching.